Hey there everybody, it's Anna. Welcome back to my art channel and thank you for stopping by. So today is a big milestone for me because I have officially been on YouTube for six months. Woohoo! I've been doing fluid art for two and a half years, but I only started my YouTube channel in October of 2021. So I wanted to celebrate this milestone by showing you a compilation of my top 12 painting videos from this first six months. So these are my personal favorite videos, not necessarily the ones that receive the most views. So throughout this video, there will be a whole bunch of links popping up right here. Dun, da, da, da. So be on the lookout for those. They will take you to all of the videos that I am talking about. So if you're curious about anything, you just click those little links that are popping up and it'll take you right there. But I will also be putting all of those links in the video description so you can find them there as well. You ready? All right, let's go. First published painting video, which was uploaded on October 22nd, 2021, is this mixed media Dutch pour, where I blew out a design and then glued fall leaves onto the dried painting. It turned out amazing and is currently hanging in my bedroom. Next on the list is this adorable little ghost family. I used a ghost swipe technique to make the ghost bodies, and then I painted on glow-in-the-dark eyes afterward to give them some silly character and expressions. I did paint three of these paintings at the same time, which was probably way too much to try to fit into one video, but I absolutely love how they all turned out. My next video on the list was inspired by Molly's Artistry. It is a crashing wave blown out with a hairdryer. My paint was mixed a bit thicker than I had intended, which actually led to a very striking wave with purple and green accents. Molly usually does her waves with a very thin paint and water mixture, and they are spectacular, so definitely go check out her waves if you have not seen them already. Next up is another mixed media Dutch pour, but this one with butterfly wings instead of with fall leaves. I make other things with butterflies, such as jewelry out of the wings, so I was thrilled to find a way to incorporate butterflies into my paintings. I mean, it's just hard to beat the incredible detail you get from actual wings. If you're curious to see more of these, I also did a fall colors Dutch pour with butterflies, and I also did this dragonfly on a Dutch pour flower, and you can check those out too if you like. Next we have this little ribbon pour with ocean colors. I painted this as part of my 31 paintings for the New Year series, and it was definitely a favorite for me. I love how the paint reacted and made so many bubbles. It reminds me a lot of octopus tentacles. About a month later, I made this seaweed-inspired ribbon pour, which is also really cool. Okay, this next one is pretty special. It is a wandering straight pour that ended up totally spectacular. Actually, I had someone track me down the very day I put it up and ask to buy the painting once it was varnished. I think it looks like an angel wing and stained glass, and it definitely shows how you can get some amazing results with a very basic pouring technique and inexpensive paint. And that's the first six of my top 12 paintings. To everyone who is still with me on this rambling video. Thank you so much. There is much more great stuff to come. But I did just want to say that for those who don't know, there are a few playlists on my channel that I wanted to quickly highlight here. First of all, I have a tips and tricks playlist, which has all kinds of painting extras on it, like how to mix your paint, how to varnish a painting, how to tighten up a loose canvas, and many more things. So if you are a beginning fluid artist, or a semi-beginner, and there might be things that you don't quite know yet, check out that playlist and you might learn something new. Next, I have a playlist on painting things other than canvases. Things like glass vases, or wooden clocks, or making jewelry out of your paint skins, things like that. So if you're looking to add different facets to your acrylic painting arsenal, go check it out, and that's where you'll find all that stuff. And finally, I have a whole playlist of relaxing instrumental painting videos for those of you that use acrylic pouring more to help you relax 
then maybe to learn all the different techniques. So if that's you, you can check it out here, and I post a new video there every Thursday morning. Okay, back to the top 12. This next painting was inspired by Olga Sobi, and it is a rainbow-colored chameleon cell painting. After swiping the colors across each other, you add silicone oil with a toothpick or a comb to create these controlled cells across your canvas. It really looks like lizard skin. Super, super fun. Next is a bloom swipe in these gorgeous, gorgeous blue colors. I want to thank Molly again for her inspiration. She does a lot of swipes using a palette knife, and she also did a video comparing cell activators, which helped me make some awesome lacing without needing to spend a ton of money. This cell activator that I'm using in this video works on a standard bloom recipe, as well as thick Floetrol mixed paint, as I show in this spiral bloom swipe. This next video is my most viewed video to date. It is a seahorse micro swipe inspired by a painting done by Danny Young. He didn't have a tutorial video, so I had to figure out the process for myself and it turned out super amazing. I've also made a second seahorse and a couple of fish in the same style, which all turned out fantastic as well. And into the home stretch with the last three. This painting was inspired by Rinska Downa and her amazing Dutch pours and chaos pours. This chaos pour represented the love of God a glorious burst of light reaching down into deep darkness. I'm sure you have all seen Rinska's amazing work, and if you haven't, go check it out. This next piece is a round wooden panel that I painted to look like the planet Jupiter. It's a ribbon pour, and when it was dry, I attached clock hands. It turned out absolutely amazing. And my final top 12 painting is this Easter cross. I did a Dutch pour of some purple colors and then stenciled in a metallic cross shape. For this piece, I was inspired by Olga Sobe's Breaking Through series, where she makes it look like her paint is flowing right through the design in the middle. And I love the three-dimensional look that I got in this piece. So there you have it, my top 12 favorite painting videos from my first six months on YouTube. Let me know down in the comments which one was your favorite, or do you have a favorite that didn't make it into this video? Thanks so much for watching my YouTube videos. It really helps support my art journey and business when you comment on these videos and subscribe to my channel and share and like and all of that wonderful stuff that you do. I hope to see many of you back very, very soon for my next video, and I will see you then. Bye.